Hey buddies, we've made it down to Asakusa. We're right on the river, forget the name of it, but all I know is that it's right next to the golden poop and the sky tree of old. These are classic. They've been here pretty much since I think like 17th century. Golden yes. poop. That's actually the uh, Asahi factory. You might know the beer, Asahi. Um, and everybody in, that's not just us coming up with the golden poop thing, that's what they all call it. Oh, uh, you're so original. <laughs> we're about to meet up with some people and then we're gonna go right into Asakusa Temple and all the insanity that's gonna be there. I'm gonna continue this vlog so in seconds we'll be in there. We'll see you there. Also, everybody's wearing kimonos. They're everywhere, just groups of people wearing kimonos. I just wanted to get that in the shot. It makes me want to wear one, except I'm told it's not called a kimono if I wear it, but I'd be a pretty girl. Sex game. All right, now here we are uh, at uh, Asakusa Temple. We are, we've made it. We have an entourage now of people, of gaijin, and we're making our way in. So this is our second time to Asakusa Temple. The first time we came here, it was like uneventful, not really, because we were in Japan for the first time. But today they are having the one festival, like one of, one of three major, I didn't even call it a festival, it's like a thing. And it all celebrates the three deities who actually used to be a landlord and two fishermen. Two fishermen fished a goddess statue out of the river. Landlord hears about it, he's wealthy, he says, I'll keep it in my house. He gives them a big speech, converts them to Buddhism. They say, sounds great. And they live with them, and then after that, the village surrounding became affluent. They did really well for about 50 years or maybe more. And they thought, clearly, it's because of the goddess statue inside that house. So they turned the house into a shrine. And now today, in present day, and probably for the last 300 years or whatever, they celebrate the three guys as though they were gods. The, the, the Japanese don't think they're gods, though. They're they're they're, they're smart. <laughs> they they know they know what's going on, but they love tradition. And here's the temple proper. And uh, I'm surprised we can get up this. I'm surprised right that. Uh, still disrespectful of my beer. Oh yeah, I feel like maybe probably beers shouldn't go much further. <laughs> Like, yeah, I'm not too worried about the camera, but yeah, I'm not gonna go into the beer. No. But you've seen that if you watched our previous footage. We've gone in there, done the whole prayer-ish thing mm -hmm. we need out of here. But I guess I've actually already shown you. We got here maybe mercifully late because it's not as crowded as it might or should be. And I think they've done, they've stopped carrying their little Thingies. We saw one. But we saw, we saw one. one. The most important one there <laughs> But is. it was a kid's one too. Yes. It wasn't even a real one. It was the ones oh. that they do to make the kids feel good. Yeah. And the little girl was banging on the drum. That's super important. Um, gotta build their confidence. Smooth right. uh, And oh, that means sorry, by the way, which was the first word that we learned when we came to Japan because right. we had to know how to say sorry We're in case we bump into people. Kanada jindes. Kanada jindes. <laughs> Guy Jendes, which means basically kind of a stanky way to say foreigner. It depends on how they use it. Sometimes the infliction is stanky. Sometimes they're just like, oh, Guy Jen. Yeah. Sometimes like, Baka Guy Jen. Uh, anyways, <laughs> that's it. People are looking because. Oh, look oh my god. Can I see the doggy? That is the cutest guy. <laughs> He's so cute. Kawaii. <laughs> <laughs> He's so old. <laughs> he has to wipe his face. <laughs> um, and I guess that's it. With that dog, I leave you with some good vibes. Uh, goodbye from Asakusa Temple. False alarm, we actually did find some. Uh, here, I'm gonna show it now. So that's, I don't, I keep forgetting what they're called, but they're carrying that in there and each one, there's about 40 neighborhoods surrounding the temple that um, each one represents their neighborhood and so the men from the neighborhood bring those in and, and I think it's like a big deal if you get to be one of the ones to carry it um, or one of the kids to ride on it. Sometimes they even have kids riding on them. Anyways, that's, that's one of them. That's the only one I've really seen because we got here late, but there you go.
That was so fucking cool. Um, Matt tells me, Matt Green back there tells me that like sometimes uh, Guy Jin can get dragged into them if they like you enough. It's my only dream, even though some of them were drenched in sweat and shaking from the weight of that thing. Also, not quite as cool as this guy. But still, pretty fucking cool. Uh, Asakusa Temple thingy festival carrying thingy. There you go. Thanks for watching. Okay, one last thing. This is another, like, uh, here's another community. So that's, that's their thing. And they like, they're playing music on it. Awesome music. But like, I guess if we'd gotten here earlier, there would have been a lot of these. So that one's still going. That's the one I showed you earlier. But like, they're all competing, kind of. Kind of? Ryusuke said they're kind of, oh shoot. They're coming at me. They're coming back. <laughs> all right, so we gotta get out of here. One last thing, I've kind of discovered maybe that those two things are from the same community because I've heard that like women have their own thing. And I saw, if I can show you, uh, um, there was a man. <laughs> um, there was a little, there's a man holding a little girl that was dressed as the other shrine. So I think they're from the same community and that they just joined each other now. And you can see them in the distance here. They're t marching together now. This is really crazy. So you guys have met Matt Green. <laughs> Matt. <laughs> Matt is our buddy and he's being outfitted now. <laughs> Snoop said. <laughs> oh. Hey, hey. So, we, so Matt is being dragged under it now. They put him in. <laughs> Where are they taking you? <laughs> so they're putting him underneath. Here. I'll take that. Yeah. Are you gonna, yeah, you probably won't be able to keep drinking. All right, so I'm taking his beer. I'm glad it's not me, because this thing looks heavy. <laughs> I think they just like how tall he is, because he's gonna be taking all the weight. Yeah. <laughs> if he gets under there, it's gonna all be on his shoulders. He's barefoot right now. I'm being told to go in. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? I honestly didn't think they'd just be this accommodating with getting Guy Jin in the middle of the whole thing. I got to go, Sonis. Uh, your name? Bashir. Oh, you scared out of trouble. Go, 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 go.